Hi guys, this is Courtney. Okay, today what we're going to do, I'm going to show you how to install WordPress, a local version of WordPress on your machine so you can work with it and learn it. Now, the reason I'm doing this is because I just loaded up a theme here on my personal blog, which I want to put over here on another one of my uh, web pages on my Chris Farrow Review site. And this is a good um, uh, blog that gets good traffic, so I don't want to mess it up. Um, by transferring uh, this new theme. So what I'm going to do is install it locally. Now what you're going to need for this of course is WordPress. Uh, go to WordPress.org and not .com, .org and download WordPress the latest version in this case 3.01 and you just go click on it here make sure you get the zipped file and not the Linux uh, gzip tar file you want this one. Uh, you're also going to need a server on your local machine and for that we're going to use a program called WAMP server and so just type in WAMP server go to the first one here um, and go down and just download the server which is going to allow you to create the database and use your machine um, a portion of it as a server now I've already gone ahead and downloaded those and what you're going to end up with is a zip file which is your WordPress file and then your WAMP server executable file. Your zip file may be yellow. Mine is uh, multicolor because I use WinRAR to, as my unzip program. So go ahead and open up or extract your WordPress folder. I'm just going to drop it on my desktop here extract it to your desktop so what you're going to end up with is a folder a WordPress folder on your desktop and here we have the WAMP server so let's go ahead and launch that just execute hit run go to next accept the agreement it's going to create a folder c colon backslash uh, WAMP which is your server we're going to create a desktop icon, just hit next, go through the install process. Now, of course, if you're just getting started, that's another reason you might want to um, do this if you want to learn WordPress. Maybe you're brand new, you don't have a domain, you don't have a hosting account and a domain name. Set it up on your own machine and play with it and learn exactly how um, to use it. It's, uh, Okay, so now here we are. It's telling us that Firefox has been detected. Do we want to make it our default browser for our WAMP server? We say yes. Uh, here you have your PHP mail parameters. Just leave that as local host. And for your email, for now, we're going to just go ahead and delete that out. Hit next. Let's finish and launch our WAMP server. So go down, once that's done, go over to your taskbar. Mine's on the top here, and you'll see that the WAMP server is running there. Just click on that, and let's go to our PHP admin, because we need to set up our database, or create a database. Now right here, you're going to see Create Database, and we're going to just do WordPress. That's the name of it. You just type it in. Don't worry about the rest of this. Down here, this is important here, if you look here, it says your configuration file contains settings root with no password. Okay, and that corresponds to your default SQL, MySQL privilege account. So that's important to remember, root with no password. Let's go up here and, and hit create. And as you can see now, our database WordPress has been created. Let's go ahead and reduce this. Now we're going to go back here to our WordPress folder on our desktop. Let's go ahead and open that up. And as you can see, we have all of the files necessary for our uh, installation. And what we want to do is we want to put all of these files in the correct place. And to do that, you're going to go to My Computer. Then you're going to go to your C drive. Let's get this over here. Go to your C drive and down here you have your WAMP. Let's go ahead and open that up. That's where it's installed. And you have another folder in here which is your www. This folder is basically 
um, I guess the uh, the same as your public HTML folder would be on your domain on your hosting account. Anyway, you anytime you upload um, anything, it's going to go into your public HTML. So this basically simulates that. Let's go ahead and open it up. And as you can see, we have an index.php file already on here, which doesn't really matter. Uh, we're going to just override it when we copy over all of our WordPress files. So let's go to Edit, Select All, right-click, drag it over, let go, and copy all of the files into our www folder. Okay, now, once this is done, okay, it's seeing, telling us that we have a file already there. Do we want to override it? Yes. Okay, that was our index PHP. So what we want to do is we're going to have this. We're going to configure WordPress through um, through our configuration file here, our WP config sample.php. It gives us a sample file, and we're going to want to go in and edit this. So you're going to need a text editor. I use Notepad++. So go ahead and right click and open it with your corresponding uh, text editor, which can be just Word text editor or what have you. Now let's go over here and as you can see we have our database name. So right in here between the quotes we want to highlight this and we're going to rename this WordPress because that's what we called it when we set it up. Okay, underneath that remember the MySQL database username? It's going to be root. So we'll just put root right there. And for password under here MySQL database password we're just going to highlight that and take it out. Okay, localhost is fine. Everything else remains the same. Go up to File. You're going to go Save As. And this is not going to be a sample any longer. It's going to be our actual configuration file. So just delete the rest of that and make sure it's WP Config. And it's going to be, make sure you're on PHP because this is the script that's going to be run okay so go ahead and save that and let's go ahead and close this and as you can see now we have a wp-config.php file now we can go ahead and actually do the install of our uh, database so let's go back up to our browser up to the top now the path for this is going to be localhost wp-admin.php that should be oh I guess not wait a minute it's going to be it should be w o oh, wp-admin slash install.php is what it should be okay there we go so now, what is your site's title going to be? We're just going to do first name, last name, username, admin, that's fine. Um, we could call it whatever we want. Let's just leave it as admin for now. If you don't change it now, you won't be able to change it later. So if you want to, you can change this to whatever. In fact, let's just go ahead and make it, um, well, we'll just first name. Password, we don't have to worry about email you do have to put in an email so we'll use one of my email addresses uncheck allow my site to appear in the search engines okay so once again we have our name for the site name uh, username password we don't have to put anything there we need an email address and uncheck allow site to appear in search engines hit install this should actually now install it and it has and you can see there's our username and it created a password so let's go ahead right click and copy make sure you copy this very important hit login now type in your login name and now paste that password back in hit login and as you can see we are now into the um, back door of our newly created WordPress blog one thing you're going to want to do right away uh, once you get in here is go down and make sure you go to your users
tab over here here I am go to the edit and as you can see that's the username which cannot be changed otherwise it would say admin but that's fine that's why we put her name in there and you want to go in here and create a password just so that um, you don't mess up and lock yourself out but as you can see we have a newly created um, blog here and if I go ahead and open it up in a new tab you'll see now we have the default theme everything looks good here and what's good about this as I said is you can now go in and in my case I'm going to be going in and I'm going to be doing some changes to uh, some of the um, CSS code um, as I set up this because I want to change some things on here as well and bring this down a little bit make some other changes on this this slider bar and now I can do it within a test environment so that if something gets screwed up it's not live and um, I'm not gonna people aren't gonna see that so uh, that's it for installing a WordPress uh, blog locally on your home machine I hope this helps and you guys stay focused uh, stay faithful we'll see you next time bye bye